What is the matter with you? Malkin demanded of the strange tangle. He twisted himself through a spiral, his mane distending threateningly as he rebuked them. He summoned a faint gleam to his false eyes. Why do you attack us like soulless beasts fighting over food? This is not the way of our kind. Even if there were few, fish belong only to the one who catches them, not to those who see them first. Have you forgotten who you are? What you are? Have your minds been stolen completely? For a moment the other tangle hung motionless, save for the slight flicks of their tails stabilizing them. The school of fish fled, forgotten. Then, as if the very sanity of Malkin's words had incensed them, they turned on him. All six converged, jaws wide to display their teeth, manes erect and streaming toxins, tails lashing. Shriva watched in horror as they wrapped him and bore him struggling down to the muck. Help me, Cesoria trumpeted. They'll smother him. His words broke her paralysis. Side by side they arrowed down to butt and lash at the tangle that held Malkin captive. The other tangles savaged him with their teeth as if he were prey. His blood mingled with his toxins in a choking cloud as he struggled. His full size glimmered through the rising murk. Shriva cried out in horror at the mindless brutality of the attack. Yet she found herself slashing at them with her teeth, while Cesuria used his greater length to whip at them. At an opportune moment, Cesuria wrapped Malkin's lacerated body in his own and snatched him from the midst of the enraged tangle. He fled with Malkin in his grasp, and Shriva was glad to break off the battle and follow him. The others did not pursue them. In their poisoned frenzy, the other tangle turned upon their comrades, roaring insults and challenges. Their cries were rote sounds, uttered without sense, as they tore and lashed. Shriva did not look back. Some time later, as Shriva smoothed healing slime from her own body onto Malkin's lacerated flesh, he spoke to her. They have forgotten. They have forgotten completely who and what they were. It has been too long, Shriva. They have lost every shred of memory and purpose. He winced as she nudged a flap of torn skin into place. She sealed a layer of mucus over it. They are what we will become.